Keep a weather eye open for a seafaring man with one leg. One leg, sir? Soon as you see him coming, run faster in a typhoon and let me know. Y yes, sir. Just a poor blind man looking for me old mate, Bill Bones. You're at the Admiral Bembo Inn, sir, and we've only one guest. Ah, that would be dear old Bill. A short, jolly chap with a moustache he is. 
I'm sorry, sir. I guess it's a tall sea gentleman with a... Oh. Let me show him. He, he, he's been out all day at the cliff, sir. He... Hush! And not a word, or it's everlasting dry dock for you, my lad. Is that my old shipmate, Bill Bounds? Speak up, Bill. Oh, I know it's you. A blind man's ears never forget the footsteps of a dear old friend. <laughs> is that little hiccup I hear tiptoeing away? What is it you're after, Pew? I've come to deliver something, Bill. Bye. Take me to dear Bill. Lay hands on your dagger, Pew, and you'll never see darkness again. You know, I'm not a man favors violence, Bill. Just shake me hand, and I'll be on me way. Phew! Rum! Rum! Bring me rum! The black spot! Eight o'clock. They can't scare me. I'll fool them yet. to do. We must fetch Squire Zolani. Yes, at once. Come, Jim. Wait, Mother. Where are you going? To collect the money that is rightfully yours. He might have it in that sea chest of his. Jim, I, I can't stay here another minute in the same room with... Wait outside, Mother. I'll hurry. He's coming back. Hide under the bridge, quick. I'll wait for you. No, I'll be all right. Hurry. Is anybody here? Heinz, fire dry. Aye, aye, mine here. Beat the door down. Hold on, mate. Maybe the door ain't bolted. An, an order? order? Yes, yes, an, an order. order. Where are you? Right here, too. <laughs> Have a look about for that boy. I don't trust him. Oi, oi, matey. <laughs> Both is yes, kaput. kaput. Give me the map. He, he don't, don't got, got it. We searched, searched him. him. Search him again, you fools. We search, search him, him again, again my dear. Hair. No map. map. Only it's underwear. underwear. It's that boy. He stole Captain Flint's map. Find the boy! Find that boy! Find the boy! Find the boy and you'll find the map! Find the map and we all be rich! Search every corner and every niche! We've got to find that boy! 
Keep looking, keep looking. Find that boy. Keep looking, keep looking. When we find him, we'll fix his bones. Tie him up in rocks and stones. He'll lie on the bottom of Davy Jones. When we find that boy. Keep looking, keep looking. Find that boy. Keep looking, keep looking. Find that boy. Keep looking, keep looking. Find the boy. His chest. It's a bear in the cabin! He kept the map wrapped in a red oil cloth. Open the chest! You... Oh, I ain't one to believe in ghosts, you know. Us neither. Ghosts? What ghosts? That chest wants opening of itself. It does. <laughs> Lead me to it, you stupid ignorance! Look! <laughs> it's alive! Oh! Check up the mouse, you fools! Catch him! You it's see better with your ears than we see with our eyes! The but mouse made the, the map, map is a rat! That's, That's funny! <laughs> the mouse! The mouse! Find that mouse! Find the mouse! Find the mouse and you find the map! Find the map and the old be a rich! Search every corner and every niche! We've got to find that mouse! Keep looking, keep looking! Find that mouse! Keep looking, keep looking! When we find that little rat, he'll feel the rat of gloves and bats. There won't be enough to feed a cat. When we find that rat, keep looking, keep looking. Find that mouse. Keep looking, keep looking. When we find that little sneak, he'll on him too from cheek to cheek. Who'll use his bones to pick our teeth? When we find that mouse, keep looking, keep looking. Find that mouse. Keep looking, keep looking. Find that mouse. Keep looking, keep looking. Find that. You idiots! He went this way! The map! What map? So we didn't see. Have you got the map? The map! You, we was chasing him, and... Uh... <laughs> the warning signal. To the boat, mates! There ain't no 
hold even till I have French maps in my hands. Which way is the mouse? Put me in the right direction, you livy livered sea dogs! I'll find him on my own, you scurvy coward! Down to me! Down to me! They never listen! are making for the shore. After them! It's Squire Solani. Thank the Lord. Row, row, ah, ah, row, row. Return fire! My gun! Where's my... Oh, I haven't brought... Oh, dear, dear Red Ruth, I've gone and forgotten my gun. Rotten luck. I can't just sit here like a ninny doing nothing. <coughs> yes, smashing good idea, Red Ruth. Red Ruth, if we lived through this barrage, you'd be wanting a new bowler. Very good, sir. By Jove, now they've gone too far. Your mother's sleeping comfortably, Jim. A bit of rest, and then I say, what's that in the corner? It's called a mouse. They're little four-legged creatures that skitter about and nibble your cheese and... Oh, sorry, Livesey, of course you recognize a mouse when you see one. Squire Trelawney, I was referring to that odd red bundle the rodent is using for a pillow. I wonder if that's what those pirates were so anxious to get at. Hmm. Let's have a look, eh? Red Ruth, relieve the creature of his pillow. As you wish, sir. I guess he doesn't trust strangers. He barely trusts me. Who the deuce cares whom he trusts? I'm a squire. A squire's got a right to know what he wants to know when he wants to know it. And I want to know what's in that bundle, Livesey. I say, Trelawney, one shouldn't let oneself become overwrought. Bad for one's liver. The level with my liver! The, the, the devil with my liver! Perhaps I can get him to come out. He's partial to rum. Rum? Did he say rum? You mean the little beggar's a, a rum pot? It's the modern age, Livesey. 1735 and the world's falling apart. It always is, always will be, and never shall. Livesey... You read too much. Ill mannered to boot. Red Ruth, the bundle. Yes, sir. Red Ruth, that was unwise. I say it seems to be a map. I wonder if that's the one the pirates call Captain Flint's map. Captain Flint's map? You mean this? We? Why, Captain Flint was the most villainous buccaneer who ever roamed the seas. If this map reveals where Flint has buried his treasure... Trelawney, do stop shouting. Bad for one's ears. What? Ears? Livers? Don't bother me with body organs when there's adventure in the air. Jim, my boy, you're going to be rich. 
and your dear mama will never have to work a day again. Oh, I'd like that, sir. Wishful thinking. Jim, I'm going to fit out a ship in Bristol Dock and we'll sail her to the Isle of Treasure. A real ship, sir? Utter nonsense. And, my lad, I'm going to set your mama in my house while we're at sea. She'll be well seen to there. Oh, thank you, sir. The only proper way to accumulate treasure is to inherit it. Sir, how much is Captain Flint's treasure worth? Oh, I'd say about 750,000 pounds. When do we leave, Trelawney? Good show. Adventure! Adventure, my friends! That's what keeps a man young. Welcome, mates. That's sea talk, you know. <laughs> aye, aye, sir. By George, the lad learns quickly. How long shall we be staying at this inn, Trelawney? The inn? No more inn for us, Livesey. Ready, Red Ruth? Ready, sir. But if we're not to stay at the inn, where shall we stay? Why, on the Hispaniola, of course. Isn't she a beauty? Attention, crew! Uh, <clears throat> uh, anchor away! <clears throat> up, up sail! And, uh, uh, begin! I'm the owner of this ship, and I say, off we go! <laughs> I think the bloke wants us to cast off. Hoist the anchor! Where's the mainsail? Set the jib! Stop lively, you swabs! Who gave the order to sail? Ah, Captain Smollett. Captain, Dr. Livesey, young Jim Hawkins, and my valet, Redruth. I asked who gave the order for the ship to sail. Uh... Oh, why, why, I did, of course. I see. Squire Trelawney, when you informed me that you had hired the crew without consulting me, I was not pleased. But I told you I had the aid of this fine fellow I'd run into by chance. Our new cook. Name's Mr. Silver. We fell to talking. Next thing you know, the chap offered to hire the rest of the crew. Why, they're a splendid group. Just look at them. They look like a bunch of dirty, lying, cheating cutthroats to me. I say, look here, Smollett. I can do as I please, sir. I own this vessel. I know that, but I'm the captain. On board ship, I'm in command. I'm the captain. I'm in command. I'm the captain of each and every man. Ho-ho! I make all decisions. I make all the plans, cos I'm the captain. I'm in command. Every true sailor knows the law at sea. I'm the captain, and he'll take his orders from me. Observe! Tread the sail! <coughs> sail up! <coughs> Swap the deck! <coughs> Drop anchor! When I say come about, I don't have to scream! I don't have to shout, cos I'm the captain! I'm the captain! I'm in command! You're the captain of each and every man! I make all decisions, I make all the plans! Cos you're the captain, you're in command! Understand? I am the captain! I'm in command! <laughs> Have I made myself perfectly clear? Uh, perfectly. Hawkins, report to the galley as ship's boy. Aye, aye, sir. Trelawney, I suggest you never upset that little chap again. 
Uh, Redruth, remind me never to upset that little chap again. Very good, sir. I wonder where the galley is. <laughs> you be, mate? Jim Hawkins, sir. I'm ship's boy. Well, welcome aboard, Jim Hawkins. I'm the cook. Some call me cookie, some call me barbecue, but the name I own is Long John Silver. Keep a weather eye open for a seafaring man with one leg. Something wrong, Jim? Uh, no, Mr. Silver. It's just that I've never been aboard a ship before. <laughs> Why, you're just a landlubber adrift, lad. But don't fret, cause old Long John will teach you your duties. First things first. You see that loaf of strike me dead? Strike me dead? Well, that's what we call bread. Well, Jim, if ever I should ask you to bring me me strike me dead, it's that one there you carry to me straight off. Yes, sir. Ah, thank you. This is Captain Flint. Huh? Captain Flint? Captain Flint? He's 200 years old and once belonged to a buccaneer now dead. Thank the good lord of the king's gunpowder. Gunpowder! 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 Rig in your booms, boy. Rig in my booms? That means pull in your elbows. <laughs> there you go, Jim. It ain't nothing but... Sailor talk. Sailor talk. Sailor talk. Thee must learn it like a babe learns to walk. Sailor talk. Sailor talk. When thee be learner, thee speaks. Sailor talk. Now, lad, to be a sailor. If you are to get along, it's time you learned a thing or two about the ship you're on. Now, facing towards the front, you've got the bow inside, and port is on your left, and starboard on your right. Come about means changing course, Eve, too, you trim the sails, and to find the wind direction, you check on your telltale. Sailor talk, sailor talk. Thee must learn it like a babe learns to walk. Sailor talk, sailor talk. When thee be learned, thee speaks. Sailor talk. Now barnacles be spectacles. Belly timbers. Food. A trigger be a door, and a gobstick a spoon. A salt be a sailor, his head rails his teeth. But should he be a besser, beware for he's a thief. Sailor talk, sailor talk. Thee must learn it like a babe learns to walk. Sailor talk, sailor talk. When thee be learned, thee speaks. Sailor talk. That's port, and that's starboard, and that's... Mr. Silver, those men at the apple barrel, they're pirates. I'm swine so dry up pirates, you say? <coughs> pirates, you say? <coughs> I swear it on my honor. That's good enough for me, Jim. Anchor here, boy, while I let them know no pirate has eaten Long John Silver's chow by Jupiter. By Jupiter! By Jupiter! Morgan! Gorilla! Lend a hand with these here pirates! <gasps> pirates! <laughs> ship of law and order. None but the captain rations the punishment. Take him to the brig. Hear me right. 
You wrecked my mother's inn. It was, it was somebody, somebody else. I could have swore they was decent men, Jim. I guess we all can misjudge somebody. When I first saw you, I thought you were a pirate. Now, why would you think that, Jim? Is it because I wiggle wood instead of real toes? A sailor warned me about a seafaring man with one leg. Never judge a man by the number of legs he's got. There's plenty with two ain't worth feeding to the sharks. When I inform Captain Smollett about those three you captured, I'll make a point to give you all the credit. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. But you just don't up and knock on a captain's cabin door. At the proper time, I'll report to the first mate, and he'll signal the captain. I guess that's wise. Squire Trelawney broke some sea rules, and Captain Smollett was very upset and... And a <laughs> Those two, they were with the other pirates. Hands, ears, knives, eve to and lock up them pirates. <laughs> It was a lucky day for us when the squire hired you, Mr. Silver. just come from Captain Smollett's cabin. He sent me personal. Was it about the pirates I identified? Aye, that it was, Jim. The captain has decided a decision, but he swore me to secrecy. Can I trust you, Jim? On my honor as an Englishman. Well, here's how she lays, mate. The captain's ordered the five buccaneers to walk the plank this very night. <laughs> you, you mean? Aye, Jim. Over the side, the murder in Ethan go. Now, seeing as how you ain't a full-grown man, I'll understand if you lack the courage to witness the execution. Good night, lad. Wait, I I'm not afraid. You got anything to say before you hit the drink? Say it now, you heartless barnacles. Little boy. Yes? We hate you. <laughs> I never met a pirate wasn't a coward when it comes to walking the plank. Say hello to Davy Jones, you dirty blubberheads. Hello, Davy Jones. We hate you too. <laughs> Mates, what happened here is a secret between us and the captain and my friend Jim Hawkins. Aye, aye! Aye, aye! aye. aye, aye. aye, aye. Jim, you are done your duty like a man. So go below and pound your ear for what's left of this night while I stand watch. Aye, aye, Long John. Hiccup, what are you doing in there? Hey, I'll get you out. Oh, whoops. Oh, my Hiccup. Sometimes you really are an awful bother. <laughs> I guess I bamboozled the lad right well. Hey, mates. <laughs> hey. You done good, Yeah, man. he did the fight. He did. I'm I think Jimmy, so. You're our leader, sure enough. Sure. You're our leader, sure enough. I still say we should cut the boy's heart out, and soon. No, Morgan. I'm a mind to wait. We know they got Flint's map. Let's kill them all and take the map and dig up the treasure. Dead men don't bite. Dead men don't bite? But there ain't no telling what an honest man will do. Why, they just as soon eat the map and let us kill them than give it up. True enough. 
There ain't no trust in an honest man. I say let them do all the work and dig up the treasure. And then I don't mind some proper revenge. Aye, aye. Morgan, seeing as how I'm the one true leader of this bunch, you can show your respect by navigating over to the barrel and bringing your leader a nice juicy apple. <laughs> <laughs> Morgan, this apple's got teeth marks in it. Get me another. I'll bring you the whole barrel and you can choose one for your liking. And that's the end of it. John means to do us all in, well, why would he make his pirate friends walk the plank? I can't wait to get to that island tomorrow. Oh. Like five, matey. You, you could say, say that, that again. again. Sir, you'll find this hard to believe, but... That was shocking. I don't believe you believe it, but I certainly don't. Not me. Do what you could. Oh, yes, 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 I don't believe it. I can't. Absolutely can't. Twenty of them and five of us. It would pleasure me if it were the other way around. And it would pleasure me if you would shut up and let me think. Gentlemen, no matter what happens, I do hope we can show respect for one another. And not you shut up too. Captain Smollett, sir, do you think it might be possible for us to outwit them? Stay out of this, Jim. This is men's work. You're on the right track, Jim. Speak up, boy. Well, if we could trick them into leaving just a few of them on board and, and then perhaps we can subdue them and sail off and bring more men and, and then return for our treasure. That's an excellent idea. I invited Jim to join this cruise, you know. You also invited the crew. I'm giving each of you a gun and ammunition. I'll decide upon a plan and we'll inform you of it. Best get back to your kip before that slippery tongue traitor Silver becomes suspicious, lad. Land ho! Land ho! Land ho! Drop anchor! My lads, we've had a hard voyage and could all do with a bit of a rest. A turn ashore hurt nobody. Take one of the gigs and stay all afternoon. Hooray! 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 Captain, are you saying we can all go ashore? You've earned it. Take food and all the grog to your liking. Ah, oh, thank you, sir. I see their stomachs won't be empty. Jim? Once we hit shore, we'll have a look about together, eh? Oh, well, I have, I have this pain. Thank you for inviting me. I'd best wait till tomorrow. Oh, yes. Just last night, the lad here was complaining about this terrible pain. Eh, hey, Dr. Livesey? Uh, uh, yes, Squire Tronny. Quite a sharp pain in his, um... Chest. Kidney. Well, Jim, 
You stay topside and let the salt air get it all of them pains of yawn. I wonder if he believes us. Of course he does. No one's ever doubted my word, ever. I can say anything and be believed. Right, Red Rose? Right, sir. There, you see? It's all in how you say it. You'll get us killed yet. Lend a hand with the shore provisions, lads! Captain, the tenny bus is ready to shove off. Ted? I clearly gave permission for all of you to take leave. And very kind of you it was, sir. But you see, sir, five of the crew has took sudden sick. Hands, ears, knives, Morgan, Gorilla! How are your pains, mates? Pains? Them chest and back and kidney pains that ache so bad. You know, you better stay aboard and treasure your health. Oh. 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 Doctor, it looks like an epidemic to me. Hmm. Oh, quite I see, by Jove. Uh, 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 if she are... Uh... With these five and the five hiding below, we can't possibly take the ship. It's all my fault. I never should have trusted Long John. Now, now, don't blame yourself, Jim. There's no bigger fool on this ship than me. Yes, sir. If only I could learn Long John's exact plans. If only... Come on, Hiccup. There's loads of room. I don't blame you. If Long John discovers me, they're sure to drown me or worse. I hope while I'm gone they don't murder all who remain here. Discover their plans. God bless England. Jim. Nobody asked my permission to do anything around here. It's un-British not to save that brave boy. Here, here. Red Ruth, prepare my carriage. Yes, sir. Carriage? We're in the middle of the ocean. Red Ruth, how can you say yes, sir, to such an order? I always say yes, sir, sir. Smollett, the lad is risking his very life for us. He didn't ask my permission. Then do it for the king. All right, I'll do it for the king. But how come the king never does anything for me? Form a gangway for your leader. Unload. Re 
drink out the rum. Bulldog, there'll be no drink until the cargo's unloaded. I need a drink, mate. I see potato sacks moving of themselves. Are you talking back to your leader? I need a drink. I wonder if the squire got my note. Gentlemen, I have prescribed a bottle of rum each for your illness, and I suggest you begin medication at once. Never mind medication. Can we drink it? By all means. You are a disgrace to all pirates! Congratulations, gentlemen. We've outsmarted the rascals. Once I discover we're gone, they'll man the cannon. I doubt it, Smollett. When uneducated people get drunk, their minds go blank. Their minds may go blank, Trelawney, but their cannonballs don't. It's the Jolly Roger. The Hispaniola is ours, mate. But our boys are shooting too hard just to kill. That cannon sounds angry. Red Ruth, it's time for an expert to take over. Absolutely, sir. They've gotten away, and I'll wager the map with them. We don't want them getting to that old stockade up there and fortifying themselves, do we, Long John? Aye, mate. Off we go, men. Through them woods is the shortest way. Hmm. I don't see Jim with them. I beg your pardon. <laughs> a gun, Ben, poor I. <laughs> oh, I mean to say, I'm poor Ben Gunn, I am. <laughs> I've been alone on this island these past five years, I am. <laughs> you were shipwrecked? Shipwrecked, wasn't I? No. Marooned, was I, mate? Nay. Hmm. No. I wasn't shipwrecked. I was marooned! <laughs> marooned! <laughs> Is it your habit to speak backwards, Mr. Gunn? It's been so long since I talked with a human, I forgot how to speak, I am! <laughs> oh, backwards, speak I! I mean, I speak backwards. Confusing, am I? I mean, oh, I'm confused! Hello? Speak I. Oh, I mean, I speak backwards. Confusing, am I? Oh, I am confused. Problem, there's... Oh, I mean, there's a problem, you see. Everything you say uh, backwards sounds me. Oh, it sounds backwards to me. Oh, something like that. I don't know. Way 
Great! I think I've got it. If you take all the words you say backwards and turn them all around and, and say them backwards, then backwards would be forwards. Because the backwards of backwards is... Uh... Forwards! <laughs> oh, so glad am I. Oh, I have that figured. <laughs> oh, backwards. Speak I. I mean, I speak backwards. Confusing am I. Oh, I am so confused. Problem, there's no... There's no problem at all. Answer, the only... If, if, if only I could recall... Uh, was it the backside of forwards is? Or the foreside of backwards was? <laughs> Mr. Gunn, I've got to help my friends. Pirates are trying to kill them. Pirates? One leg? A man one is? Is one of them a man with one leg? Silver John Long, his name is. Yes. Oh? I mean, yes, his, his name is Long John Silver. Silver? Why? It's that sweet-talking swordfish in his gang what left me here to rot, they did. And all because I had the wrong map to a certain... Treasure! <laughs> Captain Flint's treasure? <laughs> Same. The very... <laughs> About ten degrees right, mates. How do you like my little goatskin boat, eh? I see only strange-looking goats, Mr. Gunn, but no boat. <laughs> their language speak I. <laughs> you speak their language. Oh, I matey. I told them to step aside so you can see me boat. If you ever need her, she's yours, mighty. On a certain condition, that is to say. <laughs> what condition, Mr. Gunn? <laughs> that your friends give a former pirate, now a very pious man, safe passage home. And in exchange, I'll give him valuable information. <laughs> I'm sure the squire will agree. We'll be needing men to man the vessel once we subdue the mutineers. How many mutineers might there be? <laughs> there are 20 of them and five of us. <laughs> Was that goat talk, Mr. Gunn? Hey, laddie. <laughs> Nothing's as good as goats when it comes to cursing, I always say. <laughs> this way, mates. Can't we start with a spider rum? You'll get your rum when we get to that stockade before the enemy do. <laughs> <laughs> Your friends have sure enough found the old stock, eh, Jim? You just navigate a straight course right through there and you'll be with them soon enough. <laughs> yes. Thank you for helping me, Mr. Gunn. Ah, oh, remember, Jim, if your squire is of a mind to have a former sinner, now a man of religion, <laughs> who will go to church four times on Sunday, send someone to the White Rock, where I hide me boat. God bless you, Mr. Gunn. <laughs> to you, bless. <laughs> It's me. My boy. I say. Yes, sir. Jim. Hiccup's back, too. If it weren't for that rodent, we'd never known about Captain Flint's map or gotten into this mess. Squire, it's beneath a gentleman to blame a mouse for his own greed. Absolutely, sir. Jim, what have you learned of Silver's plans? Nothing. But gun Ben meat did I. Hmm. 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 
I mean, I did meet Ben Gunn. He's a maroon pirate who has a little boat and talks to ghosts, and he wants to go to church four times on Sunday. He also has valuable information if we'll promise him a safe passage home. Doctor, examine the boy. He, he, he's lost his senses. Senses? My lost haven't I? I, I mean... Flag of truce! Flag of truce! Looks like your son can do with a spot of rum. <coughs> Speak your peace, Silver, or the wind will whistle through your evil head. No, Captain, there ain't no cause to jar your compass. I catch your drift, sir, so I'll set us right on course. Me and me crew have conclusion that we'll offer your little group safe passage home. By Jove, I say, good show. Ah, I say, good show. Good show. You're a fine fellow, Silver. Red Ruth, have I not said right along that Mr. Silver was top drawer constantly, sir? There must be a trick somewhere. I don't trust him. Well, now, Jim, it ain't rightly what you'd call a trick. All we ask in return for saving your necks is that the squire hand over old Flint's map. Hoist your anchor, Silver. I've never liked you from the first. Mates, looks like we ain't eaten at this mess. Long John, I'm disappointed in you for being a lying, thieving, traitorous pirate. I never said I was perfect, Jim. <laughs> George, we show those buccaneers who runs this ship what? Charge! Hispaniola. Morgan, slip up that knoll and see if she's a dud. Eh? I've suddenly gone deaf. Looks like a dud to me. I say, do you really think so? Absolutely. Prove it. I accept the challenge. Red Ruth, go see if I'm right. Very good, sir. Guess I showed you, eh?
they say those chaps don't fight fairly. I'm try! Avas, ye numbskulls! Belay! Belay! Below! Dry! I said belay! Not below! Next time, time speak clearer! Captain, how do you feel? Ship shape. How do you really feel? Terrible. As long as the pirates control Hispaniola, we'll, we'll never see dear old England again. Squire Trelawney? Yes, Captain Smollett? I'm sorry I ever met you. Gone again. Gone? Redruth, wake up! Jim's gone! Yes, sir. Wake up, wake, wake up, Smollett! Jim's gone! Nobody ever asked my permission. I wager the lad has gone to seek the help of this Ben Gunn chap. I'm off to find them both. Ta-ta, gentlemen. Even my wife never asked my permission. Look here, Livesey. If you think you can save our skins by speaking to a fellow whose sole claim to fame is bad grammar, somehow this Ben Gunn has managed to survive here all these years. The man must know something, even if it is backwards. I mentioned it to the squire, Mr. Gunn, but the pirates control our ship. I'd like to borrow your boat, because I'm off to capture the Hispaniola. Look good! <laughs> Look good! <laughs> you think? Mr. Gunn, would you care to go along with me and help me subdue the pirates?
hidden cove where the pirates will never find her. The perfect place to beach her. Save my life. Guess what? Piece of meat, piece of meat. Where are my friends? All dead, Jim. And you're next. Aye! Go ahead. I'll not beg the likes of you for mercy. Well, now, Jim, take your bearings. Why not join up with old John Silver and enjoy what's left to live in? Never. And before I die, there's a thing or two I have to tell you. Here you are in a bad way, ship lost, treasure lost, men lost, your whole business gone to wreck. A tongue can get lost to me, boy. And if you want to know who did it, it was I. I was in the apple barrel, and I heard you plot your evil game. You can't trust nobody these days. And it's I, all by myself, who's hid the Hispaniola. The Hispaniola? We thought she went down while we was asleep. Where's our ship, you eavesdropping rent? Never do that again, Long John, or there's no telling where my knife might end up next. Morgan! Now, what fashion's that to treat a guest? This here's a brave lad who would sooner ride an octopus than tell us where the ship is. You'll never learn her whereabouts from me. Talk, 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 I'll talk, 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 What good is it all, great leader, if we ain't got a vessel to cart his back, eh? Well, the boy will tell us when his head is cleared. He's still confused because he suffers from having gone to school and being exposed to all them good manners. I'll never tell. And besides, if you should ever find the ship, you'll sail with empty pockets. For none of it has meaning without Captain Flint's map. Aye, true enough, that is, Jim. Where did you get that? Two can play the game, Jim. There's some things I don't tell neither. All right, you treasure-hungry buccaneers. The sun is up and it's time for pick and shovels. Pick and shovels, pick and shovels, pick and shovels. Hi ho, hey I go, it's a pirate's life for me. Oh, hi ho, hey I go, it's a pirate's life at sea. Find the ship and watch us board them. Always glad to follow orders, cause we are the sea for all the pay away, I ho. Bear ten degrees west. Hi ho, hey I go, it's a pirate's life. Even if you do find the treasure, you'll never enjoy it. I'll force myself. But you'll have to share with all those others. Well, Jim, by the time it's dug up, there might be a lot less others to share with. You never can tell who's bound to catch jungle fever on you of a sudden. There, five degrees east! Hi-ho, away I go, it's a pirate's life for me. Hi-ho, away I go, it's a pirate's life at sea. We try to make a good impression, so we use utmost discretion while stealing your possession. Hey, away I go.
There seems to be one man missing. I think them ducks is what spreads that jungle fever. <laughs> Eight degrees south! Hi-ho, what ain't I go? It's a pirate's life for me. Oh, hi-ho, what ain't I go? It's a pirate's life at sea. A pirate's life is one of leisure. Rum and sword hell is our pleasure. Not to mention buried treasure. Hey, hey, I ho I believe we're shy too, men. Them skeletons will bring bad luck every time, Jim. I think we've lost another two. You'd think they'd have the decency to say goodbye. Bear 14 degrees northeast. Poor Big Ben. I believe his bell wants fixing. It gives a lot of jungle fever this year. What are you waiting for? There's a lifetime of dreams just three feet underground there. Dig, you see dogs, dig! <laughs> The powers. Are you sure this is the tree? Are you saying I can't read a map? You insubordinate, insubordinate. Dig, dig. <coughs> it's the wrong tree, man. Big boy, thunder, dig. <coughs> of this cruise and now here's your payment. The black spot. Your time has come, Long John. Oh, dear, Zane, my former leader. <laughs> Four against one isn't cricket. Thank you, Jim. Shipmates, you're facing a loaded crutch. You're holding empty wood, John. I stole your bullets while ye snored away last night. All ye had was the one ye shot off this morning back at the stockade. Morgan, you slimy eel. I seen you empty me crutch last night, and after you went back to sleep, I loaded her up full again, then stole your bullets. <laughs> Could we see the bullets, please? He's lying, and I'm ready to prove it. Be lying there. It's true. I ain't loaded. Spare the boy. He's a brave lad and shouldn't suffer a pirate's fight. Look out. The tree's falling. He ain't about to fool an old buccaneer with a trick like that, boy. You think we're dumb cops? Shooting first. Both. <laughs> oh. Out. Ah. Ah.
And you said my friends were dead. Jim, boy, with a pirate, sometimes the truth can start navigating down his brain, but it has a way of getting stuck in his throat. <laughs> Nothing but hollow laughter, Jim. I'm sorry about your injuries, sir. What injuries? Oh, just a bunch of holes in my body. Sir, why do you call it hollow laughter? What's the good of it all, Jim? We've no ship to take her home in. Why, Captain, I thought you liked the Hispaniola. But she's at the bottom of the sea. <laughs> I say, not quite, eh, hey, Jim? <laughs> I captured her, sir. You mean all by yourself, you... She's... We... Why, you little lad lover? <laughs> Why is everybody standing about? There's treasure to be moved. All hands lay to. This is your captain speaking. Up sails! You're all cheating. We didn't do it. It's all Long John Silver's fault. He didn't deal the cards. I mean that we're gonna hang you, dumb cops. Hmm. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's me dinner now. Thank you, Jim. Are you sure this stale strike-me-dead bread is all that you want to eat? I've done wrong, Jim. I deserve no better. You're going to have to face trial when we get to Bristol. Captain Smollett says that you probably... You really care what happens to this old pirate's carcass, Jim? You stopped Morgan from finishing me off. I reckon that's why I ain't as good a pirate as some of them others. A touch of kindness can hold a man back in my trade. At the trial, I'll tell them about the good side of you. I promise, Long John. Ah, oh, thank you, Jim. We 
Mr. Bow-Wop! <laughs> land! <laughs> land, land, land! <laughs> Squire Trelawney, why must men be hanged? It's necessary, Jim. Hanging is a warning to others who might have evil inclinations. Then why are there more hangings each year than the year before? Hmm? Well, uh, well, perhaps we're not hanging them long enough, or... Uh, uh, I never thought of that. Red Ruth, cup of tea while I think of a proper answer. No, sir. You see, Jim, punishment by death has been practiced by gentlemen for... Red Ruth? What was that you said? I said, no, sir. No, sir? Yes, sir. I said, no, sir. And I'll never say, yes, sir, again, sir. But, 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 but. All my life, I've said, yes, sir. But now that I'm to receive my rightful share of the treasure, sir, I intend never to say, yes, sir, again, sir. My word. What's this world coming to? A proper shambles. Young children challenging the wisdom of hanging ingrates. Servants refusing to serve. What next? I say, chaps, bad news. Mr. Silver's escaped. Escape? Mm. And he's taken a bit of our treasure. Mm, just a few hundred quid. I haven't even counted my money yet. And already they're robbing me. Isn't that awful? Yes, sir. Well, how did Long John escape, sir? I haven't the foggiest. His cell is empty, except, except for this odd-looking bread. <laughs> Don't take it so hard, Jim. I know it's a blow since you're the one who captured him, but fear not. We'll find him. <laughs> One of our jolly boats is missing! Row, row, row! Stir it, you loud mouth green chicken! Hi ho, away I go, it's a sailor's life for me. Hi ho, away I go, it's a pirate's life at sea. A sailor's life is great adventure, all in all there's nothing better. As long as I've got my buried treasure, hey, away I go. Hi ho, away I go, it's a sailor's life for me. Hi ho, away I go, it's a pirate's life at sea. A sailor's life is full of wonder, sailing seas to the land down under. Whilst the pirates pillage and plunder, hey, away I go. There's nothing like a ship-shaped crew with scrub-down decks that look like new. I wouldn't mingle with the likes of you. Hey, hey away, away I go. Hi ho, away I go. It's a sailor's life for me. Hi ho, away I go. It's a pirate's life at sea. Life at sea is so much fun. With guns and knives and bottles of rum and gold that glitters in the sun. Hey, hey away, away I go. Away I go, it's a sailor's life for me. Hi ho, away I go, it's a pirate's life at sea. And I'm very sure that you'll all agree, it's a sailor's life. It's a pirate's life. It's, it's a, a sailor's life for me. me. Hey, 
There's nothing like a ship shape crew with scrub down decks that look like new. I wouldn't mingle with the likes of you. Hey, hey away, away I go. Hi ho, away I go. It's a sailor's life for me. Hi ho, away I go. It's a pilot's life at sea. And I'm very sure that you'll all agree it's a sailor's life. It's a pilot's life. It's, it's a, a sailor's life.